Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. So today, Pisces, for your meditative session, you guys got Peacock Spirit, Let Us Shine, number 46, making a 10. I think that this is about like speaking to someone honestly about something. I think that this is like with the throat being illuminated in the blue, it's from, it's just like there's something that you need to say or someone needs to say to you. And I think that this is like the opportunity for it to happen. I think that whatever they have to say is coming from the heart because the throat is kind of looking like a heart. But yeah, it, it seems like very exciting because I feel like this brings some sort of ending and some sort of beginning, maybe some sort of closure, maybe just again something that we needed to hear that we didn't know we needed to hear and that kind of closes something out so yeah pisces that's what i'm getting for your meditative session let's pull some cards and see what we got So Pisces, I feel like someone might be coming to try to communicate with you because I have here with the nine of the nine of swords. I feel like this is someone trying to unburden themselves with communication, right? Like they have their burdens, right? Like they're kind of tied, and this is like setting them free by this type of communication or this type of realization. And I feel like with the ego and the lovers, it's like I feel like this person has had a very hard time accepting the fact that even though as many times as they try to leave, as many times as they try to walk away, as many times as they want to blame it on you, I feel like they can't, right? With the six of wands in reverse, it's like they can't seem to find a way to get away from the situation, right? I feel like they have to like fully understand why that like why they can't get away from it like why they can't forget about it why they can't stop thinking about it and i think that's why they're just kind of come and say something at this point because i feel like it doesn't matter the only thing that's been like the ego has been keeping them like you know trapped right trying to pretend like this wasn't what it really was or this love isn't real or this isn't something that like i really like care about or i would like die for you know what i mean like i feel like with the lovers this is somebody who knows like this is a soulmate and this is somebody that they love but at the same time it's like they can't seem to run away from it but they don't they like keep trying to run from it that's what i'm saying like with the three of wands it's like someone who's trying to get away as fast as they can but at the same time they can't right they're not they're not able to stop thinking about it and i feel like they they have elevated in some sort of way right with the sage and the masculine feminine card imbalance like the 11 i think like again they know that this is a soulmate they know that they've had to like do some work on themselves and i feel like they're definitely elevating right and i think is like i think i think it has had a lot of reflection on them like they've had to do a lot of reflection on themselves and that's why they're elevating to this level right because they are reflecting on the past and i think they're reflecting on like why they ran away or why they don't want to accept this or why it's so hard for them to accept like that this is somebody that they actually still care about maybe you guys have a past that's very like difficult or a past of like problems where things like didn't work out but again it's like i think they have to look at where the like their role in the situation because i feel like for a very long time they they didn't look at their own role right and i feel like they thought that they were right but with the king of earth in reverse i feel like this person they've been through a lot of pain right and i think it was very hard to let go of the pain like with the ten of swords and the devil and the high priestess in reverse it's like this person i don't think they could really like understand what was going on because they were in so much pain do you know what i'm saying so they chose to see things a certain way in order to get by right it's like i don't even think they forcefully try to like be opposing to you or be like for whoever this is it's like maybe this is you but i don't feel like this person whoever we're talking about felt like you know 
I don't feel like they wanted to run away. I think they felt like they had to run away because they were in so much pain. So a coping mechanism that they used in order to like get through, right, was like denial in a sense. And the denial had a lot to do with like their own intuition, like with the high priestess. It's like, I'm gonna deny that I like love this person or I'm gonna deny like that I made a mistake in this relationship or I'm gonna like they denied a lot of things but as a means to cope because they were in so much pain and I feel like the devil is only here to show you like how much pain like with the ten of swords and the high priestess and how kind of confused and lost this person has been in terms of like not understanding them themselves because again like when you're in pain your ego is triggered right and it's like they took this person to a place very far from like where they started. Do you know what I'm saying? And now they're kind of coming back full like full circle and they're coming back as a sage. So I wanna say that this person is very much understanding what's happening. They've taken a lot of time to reflect. They've taken a lot of time to work on themselves. They've taken a lot of time to get out of this energy. This is a very painful energy. This is something that like created an instability in their life, right? And they're just starting to now become balanced. And that's why I feel like they're coming to speak now. So if you have like any judgments on this person yourself because you feel like well they haven't spoken to them in a really long time and it's too late or whatever then that's like that's how you feel and you should say how you feel but i think that this person the reason it took so long is because this person was in a lot of pain and i don't think that this person meant to make it meant to be like um hurtful and I don't think they meant to cause you pain in return. It's like they were in so much pain. I don't think that they were able to understand. Like they weren't able to see how much pain they were inflicting possibly on you. So again, I don't want to excuse this person, but I do see that this person was in a lot of pain. And I do see that this person has learned. I do see that this person isn't stagnant. Like this person hasn't stayed in the same energy where they're like, you know, still in this pain. They've worked a lot to balance themselves out. They've worked a lot to get into this energy. Do you know what I'm saying? This takes experience and this takes work, right? To get into the sage uh, energy and this takes knowledge. And it's like, again, they know what happened here. They That's why they're coming to speak about it because they understand like, the role that they played and again it's not that they're proud of it but again it's somebody who's doing work right on understanding what triggered them and understanding why they left and understanding why they tried to hide and understanding like that the only way to come back would be to speak and that's what i feel like they want to do and i think that's a really beautiful energy because it's someone who understands and someone who learns and someone who wants to do better and someone who's changed right and Again, we all have our egos that are always there. So it's like always going to be a part of us. But it's like this person is understanding that. And again, I think pain really hurt this person. It really led them to fall. You can do what you want with that knowledge. But I'm just letting you know that they are definitely coming in balance. And they're definitely coming in the sage energy. And I think it's very beautiful. I think it's very, very beautiful. This work that this person has done on themselves. And I feel like here, this is them like on their way. To be honest with the maiden. They're coming, right? They're coming. And there's there's decisions that i feel like they're gonna cause others to have to make right with the two of coins two of wands then nine of wands and the two of cups we have three twos here someone else's reading had three twos but i can't remember who it is but yeah i, I think they definitely are seeking this partnership twos to me scream like partners right love like care just, and i feel like there's gonna be a lot of decisions that are gonna have to made on your part and many decisions have been made on their part right like they are the sage, right? They're coming up as the sage. They're coming up as someone who understands like the role that they played. They're coming up as someone who has done like the introspection, right? And looked at themselves. So it's not like this person doesn't understand like their, like their faults, do you know what I'm saying? But I definitely think that there's gonna be a lot of decisions that are gonna have to be made on this relationship. And I feel like the energy to tell you is that they're very scared to come with the nine of wands. They're very scared at like what they're gonna find. They're very scared of like what, what you're gonna say and like, if they think of you the way that they rem like if you're going to be the way they remember basically do you know what i'm saying because it's like this is all kind of an, like topsy-turvy type vibe like everything's like flipped upside down and i feel like they're very very scared to do this this is like they are coming in the maiden energy like they're coming the way they're supposed to come but at the same time they're very like afraid and they're being guided to do what this work is and i i really hope that whoever whoever this is like you see that right because they are coming afraid and they are coming a little bit scared but yeah pisces i really love this reading you already got peacock spirit let it shine let's get some divine feminines for you guys
So you guys got Vajrayogini, the essence of all Buddhas. I have the power to make every... I have the power to make each moment sacred. Everything is material for my liberation. I feel like this card is coming out again to just... It's really saying that this person has done work, right? The point of this Divine Feminine, she speaks a lot about enlightenment and she speaks a lot about, you know, someone being able to like reach their soul, right? To reach like go from ego to soul and it's not an easy task right enlightenment like becoming enlightened right is i mean that's what we're all striving to do right like we're all striving to gain a higher level of consciousness i feel like that's why we're here to understand something deeper than like other people would normally try like we're not scratching the surface we're going really deep within and that's what this person has done and i feel like they're again wherever this is like congratulations because like to get into this energy of like to, un to understand enlightenment is like again raising the like i feel like it's like raising the consciousness and understanding something like fully and it's this is like them understanding themselves right and like coming back to their soul and they were able to use like the pain that they felt to work and like work on it right to become something different like you know the alchemy like they tr they transmuted pain into something beautiful like love and they're coming back around and i think it's just such a beautiful thing it's such a beautiful reading i think that they want you to whoever it is that's receiving this person it's like look at this person's look at this relationship through your in like from your intuition like don't look at it through like an ego's eyes look at it through this eye because this is the eye that that's saying the truth right and I feel like the truth is that this person has like come full circle, right? This person has changed and this person has like enlightened themselves, <laughs> right? And I feel like that's something that a lot of people try to do but don't necessarily make it. So yeah, guys, I really love this reading. I hope you guys resonate with it. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.